Oh my gosh, total distraction central right here. I'm Zach George, I train dogs, and this is my new dog, Inertia. I'm taking you along as I train her from day one. You can start from the beginning or pick up anywhere and start learning. Welcome to the dog training experience. In today's episode, we're going to encounter some of the most major challenges we've ever encountered in our training. It takes less than a minute to eliminate one of the most significant minor inconveniences in your life. None of us ever need to be caught off guard and be forced to make an emergency run to the store ever again to get our pet's food. Technology and PetFlow have solved this issue. Go to PetFlow, choose your dog's food, tell them how often you want it delivered, every two or three weeks is generally pretty good, and PetFlow will just make sure that it's at your front door whenever you need it. And you don't even have to tell them to send it. Give it a shot and see if it's for you. You'll get $10 off your first three automatic shipments just to try it out when you enter code ZAC30. I'll have a link in that discount code in the description of this video. Okay, we're on vacation in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I want to take Inertia on a walk around these incredible new distractions and show her more of this wonderful world that we live in. Right off the bat, Inertia saw her first deer, or more like 20 deer. Something tells me this is going to be a very challenging walk for sure. It is morning right now, and I'm anxious to go take a walk with Inertia and do some training with her to see how she does in this new place. But she's pretty energetic right now, and it looks like she's a little more into the toy than she was last time. Maybe I can get some of that overflowing energy out, and we'll see if uh, that'll help us on our walk. My main objective right now, again, is just to get some of that energy out because one of the reasons dogs behave pretty erratically on a walk is because they have overflowing energy. So it becomes really frustrating to walk them if you haven't appropriately exercised them. Yeah, almost, almost. She's really excited by the toy. Go get it. There we go. Let's see what happens if we throw the ball. No, she wants this, okay. There we go. So we're in a normal, regular neighborhood. It's on the uh, coast here in Corpus Christi, and we're going to see how she does in this new environment, how she does on a walk. She's bound to encounter new sights, smells, sounds. We, we hear different birds in the background immediately. We saw deer a moment ago. These are things that she's never experienced before. I expect her to be quite distracted on this walk. So it's gonna be a fine balance between letting her see new things and also getting her to check in with me and listen to me periodically. I'm not expecting perfection here, obviously. Let me at least let her know I've got something good, though. Hey, what's this? Sit. So I can get a sit from her, see that? I like to do that to see if they're in a trainable mindset. Okay, let's go, this way. Yeah, nice job. Easy. Come on, let's go. Yes. Good. Remember, we have two currencies we're working with here. I'm giving her food from time to time, and she's also enjoying the environment, which is very reinforcing and stimulating to her. Okay. Good, nice loose leash, I love it. Look, we have deer right over here in the distance. There's a whole bunch of them. Hopefully they're friendly. I don't know if inertia notices them. <laughs> oh, she's looking over there. Wow, that is so many deer. Easy, right there, she's pulling ahead a little too much. Inertia, come back here, let's go. Good, yeah, that's right, good job. Easy, oh, wait, wait, easy. Inertia, that's it. And it's a good time to remind you that dogs pull on leash because they just walk faster than we do. Wait, sit. Okay, good. And so teaching them how to walk slowly does take some effort. Okay, so we're having an issue right here. I, I, Inertia, come on, let's go. See, she's really focused on this ground set in this new place. Inertia, come on. Right there. Can't get her attention, lots of tension on the leash when I try to move forward. So let me see if I can work through this. Okay, let's go. Good job. Come on. We're coming up to a road that has a bit more traffic on it here. We're gonna stop, pull over to the side. You can hear a lot of traffic, so it's important that she's not acting crazy in this situation right here. Good job, yes. Love that. Sweet. So here, I'm just gonna hang out for a second because it's really important to me that she learned how to hold 
her sit at an intersection like this. Sit. Wait. Okay, let's go. All right, we're gonna uh, rush across here while we can. <laughs> see, good job, good job, nice work. Oh, see right there, she tried to pull back towards the street. That's no good. Hey, leave it alone. I mean, training your dog to ignore ground sense is good luck. It takes a lot, <laughs> a lot of effort. And it's a fine line between checking out the ground scents and completely ignoring them. Like it's okay in my mind on a casual walk for your dog to check out ground scents, but we don't want them fixating on them and just holding up the walk because of it. Okay, come on. Look, there's deer over there. Look at this, there's so many deer in this area. You know, they go running away. Good girl, Inertia, yes. This is actually really good right here. This is kind of what I had in mind for uh, more acceptable behavior on a walk. I mean, she's a little erratic, but she's literally never been here ever. So that's why I'm being pretty lenient. That combined with the fact that she's so young right now. Come on, easy. And let's go ahead and throw a pop quiz at her. I'm gonna ask her to sit randomly. Inertia is overstimulated Inertia. right now, as Wait. is common with young dogs like this. So I'm sit. going to make her aware that I'm willing to give her something good in exchange for her listening to my basic request of sit in this case. Good girl, yes. Good, what is that? Look, look at her. Something, she's like, wait, this looks different ahead. And I, I don't know exactly what she's taking stock of, but it could be the Gulf of Mexico over here. What do you think, Inertia? You wanna go check it out? Let's go, come on. Here we go. But yeah, you can just see her body language is different. She's stiffened up a little bit. Maybe it's these poles over here sticking out of the ground. Let me see, let me let her explore here. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go check this out over here, come on. This way, come on. Easy, so a little too much tension right here. And something I'm, I'm doing right now is I'm kind of falling into this trap of continuing to walk ahead, even though I'm pausing intermittently, but I probably should keep her on her toes a little bit better by being a little more erratic in my direction. So I'm gonna actually go back here um, and kind of work my way back. Yeah, good job, very good. She's really noticing this flock of birds over here. Okay, let's go. Yes, easy, nice work. Look at the tension here on the leash. See that tension? I don't like that. Wait. Good, I do like that, that's good. So this is great. I, I like that she's not being too reactive towards the uh, pigeons. Are these just simple pigeons? Oh, how funny. There are so many exotic birds in this part of the world. And those are just pigeons. Okay, let's go. Good girl, yes, very nice. Wow, you hear that? Look at that, yes, good girl. I mean, so, I mean, boy, couldn't get a better distraction than that, could you? You get the sound of the wings slapping, they fly in our face, and look, they land right back down. Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, these are like proper rural pigeons. They're not city pigeons, they're organized. And look how she just wants to sit and observe this. This is exactly the kind of thing that if you can do with your dog a, a lot, it really, it really helps them understand the world they live in. Looks like they have some construction going on down here. And that's something I've really been wanting to prioritize with her is getting her comfortable around louder or unusual sounds like construction. So you can see right now, Inertia is noticing the activity going on over here because, you know, she's a smart dog, but she's not too concerned about it. She's more concerned about what's going on right around her, I guess. I mean, that's good. Just giving her simple exposure to this stuff and seeing how she reacts is, is really an important part of raising a dog. I mean, a lot of dogs would be like, oh, those loud noises are weird. I'm scared, I'm panicked. Or they would start barking and charging at them, like really wanting to go investigate them. We're really just looking for a Hey, I noticed that. Okay, cool. You know, that, that's kind of the ideal behavior in my mind anyway. We've come all of this way to admire this wonderful beauty and we're focusing on a construction site. 
Let's make our way kind of back, but let's see how she does because we've been through this path that we're about to take back and I'm curious to see if she reacts the same way or if she's more difficult, less difficult. In terms of pulling right here, she's you know, decided I don't want to continue on. I'm going to lie down right here and smell. Got this? Sit. Good. Yes. So really borderline listening right now. She's taking the treat a little bit. Good. Yes. Okay. But now she's, she's pretty in and out. Contrary to popular belief, teaching a dog to walk slowly next to a person on leash takes an extended period of time for many dogs. In other words, it's a more intermediate to advanced skill. The early stages of teaching a dog to walk nicely on leash can really look like a mess. It's important not to get too distracted by looking for total perfection, and instead focus on every small instance when your dog does something better than they did before. Nice job. So I'm just spontaneously moving around to kind of keep her focused on me. Looking at the birds, see the birds up here, these blackbirds. Okay. More dogs in the neighborhood. That's good. I like that generally when dogs are barking in the distance, she'll notice them. She doesn't usually go too crazy about them, which is probably because we've done a lot of exposure around neighborhood dogs. Oh, wow, see that? See, I, I, it's like, as a trainer, I didn't expect the dogs to be right there. So we're just gonna, and now, see, now we're getting a reaction out of her. But let me, I'm gonna create distance right now. And there's deer down here. Oh my gosh. We've got just total distraction central right here. So, so right here, I'm just going to manage my dog. What you do when you're surprised like that and you can't really just train them in that immediate situation, focus on management, having them on leash, getting them away from that distraction, maybe pull off to the side over here. Now it's gotten a bit quiet. Now let me see if I can get her to sit. Cause see, she's pulling, she's aroused. So she's really hard to communicate with. There we go. But right now she sees another pedestrian she's trying to get information on. Come on girl, let's go. Let's get away from here. Okay, so here I find myself having to gently escort inertia away from a pedestrian who's taking their morning walk. Now it's not ideal to have to do this, but if we stood where we were, her behavior would likely intensify. So creating distance between her and the gentleman walking is my first priority. Of course, it's more ideal to intercept your dog before they react in this way, but the world is not a perfect place willing to take treats again. So I just went eight feet away and now she's a little bit easier to communicate with. Okay, so the pedestrian that Inertia was apprehensive of decided to come up and he really wanted to show Inertia that he's a friend and not scary. At first, Inertia was apprehensive of this man and then she decided to voluntarily approach and had a great experience. There you go, what a good experience we're giving her. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. I mean, you can see a walk like that for a six month old Border Collie, at least for me, training this particular dog is still quite bumpy. There's some success, there's some outbursts, but the idea is that we continue to trend towards better and better behavior over time. But the only way to get there is to give her the life experience necessary to know how to process all of these things going on around her and reinforce the behavior we like when she does behave ideally. But, you know, I, I have to go charge my car now. We found a place to top off our Tesla here before we leave for tomorrow. And it's a pretty nice area. I think I'm going to do a different kind of walk with inertia now. We're gonna do a leisure walk instead of a training walk, really just to kind of give her some room to explore. The difference is I'm gonna be using a retractable leash so she has a little bit more range to explore things. I'm not gonna require her to be as disciplined with listening to me or anything like that because it is important for dogs to get out there and see things. This is gonna be a more wide open area where we're going so I, I'm not restricted to a neighborhood where there are cars everywhere. So it makes more sense for her to kind of roam around and sniff around. We'll see how it goes. But I do wanna test her weight at the crate right here. Wait. Good, okay. Wait, swap out those leashes, okay. And so this is extremely low traffic here, so I don't mind giving inertia a little bit of room here. Come on, let's go. Good girl, nice work. There's a bird. <laughs> a little jumpy here. Yeah, she's immediately getting more excited now as we go up this boardwalk. This is gonna be Inertia's first time on sand. Wonder what she'll make of that. 
That's sand. What do you think? That's got to feel different, a nice new texture for her to experience. Check it out, Inertia. Look, let's go look at the water, maybe. So she's immediately noticing the sand and, of course, the unique smells that only a ocean beach can offer. <laughs> look at that. First time seeing a wave. She's, look, she's a little reluctant of it as nice, healthy skepticism. <laughs> hey, that might be a creative way to teach back up, right? She's noticing the smells. Oh, she sees a bird. Oh, look at this, look at this. She's going in the water, chasing a bird. That's exciting. <laughs> I didn't think she would touch that water, so that was kind of a surprise. I thought she would be a little nervous of it. And while chasing a bird probably isn't the ideal behavior long term, I still want to nurture Inertia's curiosity and bravery wow. when she explores the world <laughs> like this. The beach is full of lots of interesting stuff that Inertia should probably leave alone. Leave that alone. Don't eat the jellyfish. Leave it? Hey, leave it. Good girl. Okay, let's go, come on. Nice work. So, nice real life leave it opportunity with the jellyfish. Come on. All right, doesn't want to leave the branch alone. So this is a situation where it's like, okay, check it out, but let's move on, you know? All right, come on, let's go. Bye. Yes, good girl. So I was able to encourage her to keep coming and that was good. Who was that? and see much better that time. So you can see like a little while ago, she got real nervous from the gentleman we encountered on the walk, but this guy, she's like, well, I'm surprised, but okay, see you later. Everyone's different. I mean, you just never know what it is that your dog's going to react to or how they're gonna perceive certain things. So you just wanna be there and support them while they experience new things. You get $10 off your first three automatic pet food shipments from PetFlow by entering code Zach30 at checkout. I'll have that link and discount code in the description. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram to keep up with Inertia in real time and see how our training is going today. Subscribe to this channel and get a copy of both of my books to really help you train your dog. In the next episode, Inertia will face her biggest challenge yet, the French Quarter in New Orleans. And look at that.